Mom dragged my daughter into the pool, causing me to pack both kids up and leave early. Only to find out that she cancelled our plane tickets home. So my parents live 1,500 miles away, making visits kind of arduous. I agreed to rent a car and pay for two hotel nights, she lives a bit far from airport, along with a couple restaurant outings and excursions for all of us if she paid for the airline tickets. We've done this before and it's worked just fine, but we've also done it where I've reimbursed her, she wants the mileage rewards. Everything goes fine-ish until we arrive at her house where we discover that my daughter will be sleeping on a yoga mat and my son and I will share a foam roller. I jokingly said I'd just buy a couple of blow-up mattresses because my kids are teenagers now and I'm far too old to be sleeping on the floor. She was upset, so I dropped the idea. Surely we can survive for five days on the floor. Day three she has my son mow her horse paddocks and muck all morning, then tells us we're going to the community pool. We had already been swimming three times, so we weren't really in the mood. Especially when it was a holiday weekend and the pool was packed. My son and I definitively said we'd not be swimming at all, but my daughter said she'd put her feet in. She just didn't want to swim as I had blow dried and curled her hair, and my mom's, that morning. My mom starts in on her as soon as we arrive with how she's definitely swimming, but my daughter holds firm and says she's not. She will sit on the edge and put her feet in. She reminds my stepdad, who tells her that's fine. It's not fine. Once my parents are in the pool, they start telling her she's going in one way or another and my mom gets out of the pool to push her from behind while my stepdad grabs her ankles and drags her. Daughter freaks out and holds on as tight as she can to the railing, but she's no match for two adults. She can swim just fine, but she's dunked as soon as she's fully in the pool, she doesn't know who pushes her head under, and then my stepdad says well now your hair is wet so you can just have fun. She was scared, but couldn't see me or her brother because the pool was so crowded, so she stayed with my parents for about 10 minutes with a fake smile plastered on her face. She got out and came to tell me, but couldn't really tell me everything as my mom was about three steps behind her. I just packed my kids up and went back to their house because I felt like she had a weird look in her eyes and my mom had a strange look. Once my daughter told us what happened, I was furious but said I'd talk to my parents about it. The talk went poorly. They apologized to her by telling her that she was fine and she was having a good time and she can swim blah blah blah. She was not fine, the backs of her thighs and lower booty were scraped up by being dragged and she was terrified. I told the kids to pack up because we don't want them to ever think abuse is okay, even if it's family. Both of my parents forced my kids to hug them goodbye and told them I was a bad mother for teaching them it's okay to just run away. I was loading the car during that exchange. We drove to the airport, arriving extremely late and I moved our return flights up. Did the online check-in, got a hotel so we could catch a couple hours of sleep on real beds. Downloaded our boarding passes to Apple Wallet morning of our flight and went through TSA. Once we got up to our gate, I had a weird feeling and checked our flight again. All three were cancelled. I freaked out and went to customer service, who were extremely helpful. I was able to repurchase two tickets but one had already been resold. I burst into tears because I really couldn't leave myself behind or one of the kids and I had already turned in our rental car. The agent ended up putting one ticket in business class and didn't charge me. We didn't end up being stranded. But my husband, who didn't attend this trip, is so furious that she put her own grandchildren in this situation that he's not ever going to allow her access to them again. I think I agree with him, but I have also had to admit that the emotional manipulation and control is something that she's done since I was a teenager myself. I've just been grey rocking her for so long that I missed a lot of warning signs. The only reason I even reacted this time was because she had targeted my daughter with demeaning comments this entire trip. It suddenly clicked and it's probably the first time my mom has successfully gotten an emotional response from me in 20 years. My kids immediately blocked her everywhere. I haven't, but I am not sure if I should send her a text or email letting her know that the airline agent could see exactly when she cancelled the tickets and her rewards account was suspended for malicious behavior? Then block her on everything? I just don't know. The amount of money I spent to just get us home safely was insane, but we just needed to go home where we're loved unconditionally by my husband's parents.